Right, well, if you've been watching all week, then you'll know that I've been doing quite a lot of driver head-to-head -head videos and I carry on. This is the third one that we run and it's the most interesting for me on a personal level because the TS3, yes, we've got those numbers. We're gonna keep on using those numbers that I obtained earlier today and we're gonna put it up against my current driver in the bag, which is the Ping G400 Max. So yeah, this could be an expensive test. I've been very favorable towards the G400 Max in terms of Overall performance, I would say, it did well in terms of distance, not necessarily the longest, but in terms of dispersion, it was, for me personally, uh, as good as I've used in quite some years. Uh, well, by far the best I've used in quite some years, to be quite honest with you. I'd call it a game changer earlier on in the year. But the question is, will the TS3 knock it off its perch and will the TS3 make its way as a contender into the bag of the average golfer? We will soon find out. Once again, I'm going to move camera. I'm going to start in some balls with this G400 Max. It's all about today's swing. These videos have all been recorded on the same day. Same swing, plenty of breaks in between, plenty of uh, time to re-energize, and I've had an hour off, and I'm ready to now start it in my G400 Max, and I'll be trying my dandies because I don't want this to be an expensive video. Right, before we get started, a couple of things to mention about the shaft that is in the Ping driver. It is the shaft that I got custom fit for. It's the CB Alter Stiff Shaft 55 gram. Once again, the similarities, they're very, very close in the type of shaft if you're comparing them anyway, but this is not the Tenside Blue that is in the Ping driver. Another point to mention is that I am not gonna talk about these clubs on an individual basis in terms of a specific review. I've reviewed both these clubs in separate videos. So if you want to watch those, then you can find them in, uh, in the back catalog. All I am gonna make reference to very, very briefly is a personal opinion on the looks. Now I'm gaming this G400 Max, but again, if you go back to my original view, I'm not a fan of the way it looks from the top of the club head. I don't like the indentations and the pattern of turbulators and dragonfly. It is not suitable on my eye, I'm afraid. Having said that, it was overall performance that guided me towards this club, and in particular, it was dispersion. But from the top end, I've got to say, I mentioned it again in the review of the TS3, that this is a classic looking golf club from the top end. This high gloss finish, teardrop shape, it is much better on my eye, I have to say. So in terms of looks, I'm giving it to the TS3, but it's not about looks, it's all about performance. So I'm gonna hit balls once again. I've done numerous videos with the G400 Max, but I want a fair head-to-head -head challenge. I've already hit the TS3 um, earlier on today. I've got my numbers on that, but I'm gonna put it up against this numbers that I achieved with the G400 Max in the next few minutes or so. That's it, no more talk. Let's get hitting golf balls and then compare some data. So first ball of the day, don't forget, this is GC2 that I'm recording the data on. I will once again continue to use TaylorMade TP5 golf balls for the testing. Straight away, the immediate things, the kind of things that we're talking about, if we're gonna talk about head-to-heads and comparisons, the one thing I've gotta mention is the sound and the feel. I think it's another key factor because, but it's, I think this is a key factor that's very personal. What do you like to hear? What sort of sound do you want to hear from that golf club? And for me, it's one of the things that was very, very good about the G400 Max. It's something that they changed from the previous models from the G400 and I think acoustically improved it. Slightly different inside this uh, confined space in here. It's a little bit louder, a little bit sharp, but out on the fairways, I think it's a good combination of sound which resonates in a nice feel. It's got this sort of forged uh, face, which again, I like, it's good, it's good. And it's a decent start. You've got to understand, I feel comfortable with this club in hand straight away. Um, but we shall see uh, in numbers very shortly how it does. Let's hit one more. Well, it's additions enough start with the uh, G400 Max and at least dispersion wise, those two were pretty tightly packed to be fair, at least from what I can see out there. Uh, we'll see what GC2 has to say about that. But um, I'm gonna carry on hitting the G400 Max. I'm gonna get 10 shots that I can compare to the numbers that I've got from the uh, TS3. And we'll sit down and discuss those numbers right now. I've gotta say that um, 
I'll, I'll go through the data with you obviously very shortly, but this one for me was the most interesting, obviously because I gained the G400 Max. And for me, uh, in this last period of time, wherever it is, maybe a year or so, then uh, I've done many videos about the G400 Max and how I think it's helped me in my game, my driving in particular, how forgiving it's been. And uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, this is a real interesting one. And I think we can do no more but get straight stuck into these numbers. And here it comes. Um, right, so G400 Max, 145 ball speed on average, 15.3 launch average, 2,500 spin, 36 peak height, and an average 247 in terms of yardage. Now then, uh, quickly go through those numbers, but no, no, what I will do is this. Those numbers there, I, I, and again, I've said this on one of the previous videos, can't remember which one. I was hitting the ball as good as I can, so more than happy in terms of the test and the data that's collected. Um, what I achieved there was my G400 Max was really good for me. Like I said, I, I, can't, I can't, there's no complaints in terms of what I did with it. I, some better than others but overall you know I mean they were really really good numbers for me um, again I'm going to throw up the G4 and Max dispersion first of all before I go into the TS3 numbers the, the big thing for me with the G400 Max was I don't think well prior to the G400 Max I had the epic driver and I said that in pure all out distance the epic for me was a longer club i achieved better numbers when i got a ball out the middle with the epic compared to a ball out the middle from the g400 max although there's supposed to be no difference i personally felt that the epic was a longer driver what i couldn't do i had no control over dispersion i was all over the show with the epic and again largely due to that will always be dictated to by the swing that you put on the thing but with a g400 max when it came along it was the first driver in years that I got some decent yardage out of, but I also maintained some good dispersion numbers. Now, maybe there was a magic wand and all of a sudden, every time I picked up the G4 and Max, my swing got a little bit better. I don't know. But the bottom line is, that's what happened. And I, you know, I, well, well, once again, the dispersion numbers in front of you now, that's a good grouping for me. There's some left, some right, like I keep saying on all these videos, like I do on every round that I play, some right, some left, and every now and again, I get the odd one down the middle. But the grouping is quite tight. If we took away the one that's leaked out um, right, and then that hooky one down the left, if we take them out, there's a good grouping that is pretty much, I'd say pretty much fairway fine in there. And I'm really happy. So when you put the combination together of the those numbers that we had in the dry ball data, plus the dispersion, then yeah, it's, it's as good as I could have done in the test up against the TS3. And maybe I was trying my best because I didn't want this TS3 to come out on top, who knows? Um, but anyway, TS3 numbers up now, and once again, apologies to anybody who's seen this in the last two videos. It's a little bit repetitive, so you can skip this bit. But for those who've just joined in for this video, here's the numbers I achieved on TS3. So we've got 146 ball speed, 14.8 launch, 18 spin, 32 peak height, 256 overall. Um, again, pretty decent numbers, and I'll throw the dispersion chart up on the TS3. Um, Again, for one to not repeat myself, for those of you who've seen it, I'll say it very quickly. The grouping down the right-hand side, more than happy with. Uh, I always, again, if you don't watch these videos uh, often, I'm trying to fight a right-to-left hooky shot at the moment and eradicate that. So more is going down that right-hand side, but still three hooks down the left. And again, like I said, pretty much what I'd expect to do every weekend. But for the purposes of the data, very, very happy indeed for the comparisons. And the comparisons for me, if I go down the chart, a mile an hour difference in ball speed, launching slightly higher with the G400 Max, spinning at um, 2499, which I think is a better spin number than 36 peak height, 247 overall, just slightly dipping out with um, in terms of yardage. So, who is the winner? And the most interesting winner, really, for me, personally, between a TS3 and a G400 Max. Who do you think's the winner? Well, I think it's a G400 Max again, I'm afraid to say. Well, I'm not afraid to say, but I mean, it's one where I'm gonna say I would take dispersion over yardage any day. In the previous videos that I've done in the likes of the Rogue and with the M3 head-to-heads, the dispersion in terms of left and right shots between that and comparison to the TS3 were pretty much 
similar, some good, some bad, as I'd expect. But I think there's an overall, yet again, for me, in a G400 Max, there is a noticeable difference in the improvement in dispersion uh, on the G400 Max. And on those averages, whatever it is, nine yards difference, I would give that up any day of the week to find more fairway, certainly the way I drive the golf ball. So for me, I'm glad to say, on this occasion, I've got the G400 Max, excuse me, as still remaining in my bag for a little bit longer. Uh, right, I hope you enjoyed that video. I certainly enjoyed the testing. I'm carrying on, it doesn't end there. We've got another one to come yet because we've got two more drivers to come and you can forget the TS3 now. We've got the TS2 versus the M4, which is coming next. That should be tomorrow night with any luck as we continue to find the best driver of 2018. Right, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, comments down below. Subscribe if you don't already. Do whatever you goddamn like. I'm going. See you later.